Magic of Math here, and today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we're talking linear or nonlinear. Here we go. Here's our math question today. Which of the following equations are linear functions? We're asked to select the three that are linear functions from our list of five choices. So when we're talking linear functions, we're going to look for ones that are written in the form y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept form, m representing that number that is the slope, and b represented by the number that is the y-intercept. One thing to note in a linear function is that the x variable and the y variable both, no variable in the linear equation, can be raised to a power greater than 1. So we're going to note right here that there is an invisible 1 to the x, as is there is to the y, but we can see all of these y's are just y. But when we look at the x and each answer choice, we can see that they have differing um, exponents to that variable. So we notice in A that it's x squared and 2 is greater than 1. So therefore, A is not a linear function. This is actually a quadratic function. B is written in slope-intercept form with that variable, that invisible 1 exponent. So B is one of our three choices. C, 1 half of x, invisible 1, so that is also written in slope-intercept form and is a linear function. In D, we see that our exponent to the variable x is 2, which is greater than 1, and D cannot be a linear function. It's actually a quadratic function. And then our last choice, E, negative x with that invisible 1, and that is our third linear function. So our correct answer choices are B, C, and E. These are our linear functions. Thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math to discuss linear and nonlinear functions. I thank you for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.